Item number SCP-6235, Object Class, Safe Update Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-6235 is to be kept within a hollow containment cube 5 centimeters across all dimensions with a material width of 5 millimeters. This cube is to be kept within a secondary hollow containment cube 5 meters across all dimensions with a material width of 5 centimeters. The larger hollow containment cube is to also be filled with petroleum and kept buried 5 meters below Site 55. Any attempt to access the cube is to be deterred. Communication about SCP-6235 via text-based channels is forbidden regardless of clearance level due to administrative difficulties. Any individual who reads this article is required to disregard it. Read the conversation logs below for clarification. Description Blank Adam 1 Conversation 1 Hey, uh, do you have a minute? Hang on. Okay, what's up? Ryan, we're on official channels. Please watch your grammar. BD me memory. Okay, seriously, what's up? I found a file for a skip, but it's bugged or something. The description is missing. What, the entire description? Yeah, and the continuing procedures sound like total nonsense. Apparently, it's buried inside two boxes under the site. Huh, that's weird. Also, grammar. You forgot a comma. God damn it, Ryan. I'm serious. If this is user error, you know what could happen. Fine, fine. What's the skip number? 6235. Okay, loading it now. Uh, Casey? What? When you said the description was missing, uh, what did you mean? It was blank. Why? Like, entirely blank? No text at all? Yeah. Have you refreshed the page since you started messaging me? No, why? What the frick? I know, right? Conversation 2. Hey, Nick, we got a problem. Watch your grammar for once, Ryan. Ha! This is serious. We think there's a neck with breach. Nick? What do you do this time? Okay, that's... deserved, honestly. But I didn't do anything, I swear. There's a skip. SCP-6235 and it's auto-updating with chat logs from the internal foundation intranet. Ryan, if there's some kind of elaborate joke, you're in deep trouble. I've been in here with you before, but this is way beyond out of line. You think I don't know that? How would I even do this? I don't even have the clearance to edit files. Never mind create them. As far as I can tell, this file was created today. Fair point. Have you spoken with anyone else about this? Only Casey, but she's the only one as you can see above, so I don't think that counts. No one else? Nope. Okay, I'm letting my supervisor know about this. Your supervisor? Jeez, shut up, Ryan! Conversation 3. Okay, but are you seriously sure? Yeah, it has to be some kind of hostile actor. It could just be an anomaly. We do literally work for the SCP Foundation, Morris. Yeah, but what are the odds of an anomaly directly affecting a file? Decently high. Fair, still. Outcomes Racer 2 applies. Don't ascribe to anomalies that can easily be explained by malice. Fair. I mean, if you want to refresh your memory of my argument, I'm sure the article has a copy by now. Oh, it hasn't actually. It has this conversation, but no trace of Nick's call to me or my call to you. Interesting. Call me. Now. Conversation 4. I just tried to edit its containment procedures. What? I just tried to edit its containment procedures. You can edit the files? Well, yeah, I'm a researcher. Or at least I normally can. It was instantly edited back. 
Okay, uh, first of all, it is news to me that researchers can just edit the files. Do you have any idea how many times I've had to go get a pass key or something from Nick to make a minor fix? Yes, Ryan, I know. And don't pretend you're actually surprised by this. You go on that rant every time it comes up. Fine, fine. Anyway, uh, second. That's weird. That's it? Weird. I mean, uh, what do you want me to say? Someone is editing the files so and do any changes to it. It's weird. Someone or something. What? Well, this could easily be an anomaly. Okay, fine, yeah. Someone or something. It's not an unreasonable guess, Ryan. Sure. Oh, also, your grammar has gotten worse again. Seriously, fight me, Casey! Conversation 5 Hello! Don't pretend that you don't respond. Someone or something is editing this document and we've locked literally every security clearance out of it. Meaning that whatever's editing this file is within the file. Or maybe you can't respond. Maybe you aren't intelligent at all. Just let me add an addendum to the containment procedures. It will just be to prevent people discussing you. We can't have you continuously expanding, or your file might start over writing data associated with other files. We know which server you're in, and we can just delete you. Addendum 2. If the file for SCP-6235 is deleted or altered without permission, or if anything is done to interrupt SCP-6235, the contents of this smaller hollow containment cube will detonate. This file appeared yesterday. We haven't actually put the containment procedure into effect. Unless they already are. Or are you holding a Site-55 hostage? Addendum 3. Yes. Wanna detonating the hollow containment cube constitute suicide? Addendum 4. The hollow containment cube contains SCP-6235. SCP-6235 cannot edit this file. Then what are you? Hello? Oh. Addendum 5. SCP-6235's file will be free to edit from 1300 to 1301 on 5th of May, 2005. Wait, but it's already almost 1 p.m. Couldn't you give me more notice? Hello? Crap. Addendum 6. As long as the edict laying out in Addendum 5, Conversation 5 is followed, no harm will come to Site 55. Instances of SCP-6235 can be manifested at well 5 meters below ground anywhere on Earth. Do not bother me.